if you've ever wondered what really happens when the fastest high school boys in the nation get together on one track to face off, then you should have been paying attention to the Arcadia Invitational. It is a meet in California. But to be clear, athletes are coming from all over the country to compete on that track because that is where you prove yourself. Don't get me wrong, winning a high school state championship is still a big deal. But you do realize there are no state championships at the college level. It all comes down to the conference. But let's be honest, it's really about the NCAAs. That is a national level competition. And I also have to be honest that Christian Miller wasn't there. He is the top short sprinting recruit in the class of 2024. But while everyone else was at Arcadia, he was competing with athletes, many of which are pros. And now he has run the fastest time that any high school American have ever run. So he'll be taking his 9.93 second PR in the 100 meter dash. Yes, that is how fast he actually is to the Georgia Bulldog in the SEC. Because of course, all the best sprinters go there anyway. It's actually why the Bulldogs also signed recruits numbers two and three to go along Christian Miller at number four in the FEA top 10. But even though Christian didn't run at Arcadia, he's being compared to another man who did, Noah Lyles, because even he came all the way from Virginia to run at Arcadia, because that meet is actually that serious. So I knew that somebody else would have to win the 100 meter dash, but nobody could have expected the boy who actually pulled it off. But if you're new here, I have to say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SCARecruiting.com, where I rank the top high school track and field recruits in the entire nation. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated. If you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. But before I get into the 100 meter situation, I do have to address some of the other highlights from the meet. Now I'm doing this all from memory, so please forgive me, but I especially have to shout out some of the top recruits who proved they're just as good as advertised. Vance Nielsen out of Arizona ran away with the hurdles. Both of them, the 110 hurdles and the 300 hurdles for the invitational sections. But that is what he was supposed to do. He is a legitimate five-star recruit and those type of performances prove it. And Patrick Kilby did his thing in the 800, as he should, because he is a very high level four-star recruit. So high, in fact, he's an 89 overall rating, which is about as good as you can get without being a five-star. But when you win Arcadia, you're starting to make a good case to move even further up. And a battle went down in the 3200 because Daniel Simmons of the SCA Top 10 outlasted five-star Drew Griffith to win that event. Benjamin Shu of New Jersey won the shot put and the discus, which isn't surprising because he is the best thrower in the class of 2025 and perhaps in the entire nation. He's number two overall in the SCA Top 10 for that class. But in the 200 meter dash, Shuf was served because Brandon Arrington Jr. won that event and he is only a sophomore at the moment in a race against a whole bunch of other four-star recruits, but two of them were freshmen in that race. And if you actually care about the clock, check this out. He ran 20.76 seconds, but he was the only one to break 21 on the day. Which brings me now to the 100 meter dash, because we got a race that went all the way down to the hundredth of a second. You should already know by now that every single boy in the invitational race was at least a four-star level recruit with four of those boys finishing within a tenth of a second of each other. Yet when the dust settled, it was Benjamin Harris of Polly Long Beach who became the 100 meter champion. He ran 10.38 seconds to do it, slightly wind aided. But get this, he is only a freshman right now, which means that if you are a coach in the SEC, or for that matter, USC now in the Big Ten, he needs to be near the top of your recruiting board for the class of 2027. He was actually one of two freshmen in that final. And although I haven't released a national list for the class of 2027 yet, when we get to the summer and that list comes out, I'm pretty sure I know two names that are clearly on that list. And the reason why I bring up Polly specifically is because this is what they do. They have Jai Ricks right now in the class of 2024 
who's committed to the Georgia Bulldogs and the number three recruit in the SCA top 10. For the longest time, high school track and field was basically just about winning state championships, but meets like Arcadia have changed all that because now we can put all the best athletes on one track and actually start to figure out who is really the best of the best. And guess what? All the best track and field programs in Division I are paying attention. But for the record, so am I. Because if you really want to get ranked as one of the best in your class, in the entire nation, then you had better prove yourself when you step to the line, after the gun goes off, when you are going head to head with all of them. SCA track and field gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop, or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel, so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.